Hey, this is AJ from Tatum Digital Agency, and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how you can apply a schema markup to your WordPress pages and posts using the plugin Rank Math. I'll cover how to set up a schema template for a page or pages, and also how to set up several types of schemas directly on a post or page. So let's begin. So we're going to go into the dashboard. And now we're going to go into Rank Math and then Schema Templates. And we're going to go to Add New. Here you have uh, the list of available schema types. So in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to create a service. We're going to name it the service type. So we're going to put in uh, Web development service and we have the option to either use the SEO title and description so basically you're going to be pulling in the information from the given page or, or post or we can put in our own thing here uh, so in this case let's put in web development and just say for the description Providing WordPress and custom application development. All right. And then for the service type, we're going to put in web development. And then the last two pieces are price and currency. So price, you can either put in the actual value so we put in the, the numeric value, or you can put in dollar signs. So in this case, we'll put in two dollar signs. And then for currency, you want to have it in the ISO 4217 format, which is the three character country code. So we'll enter USD. After you have this done, we're going to go to code validation. We have this code here, so we're going to go to copy. And now we want to go to Google and search for a structured data testing tool. And we have that tool right here. And we want to go to Code Snippet, paste in the code, and run tests. And you can see here there's zero warnings, zero errors, uh, and it's all good. So let's go back to the schema page and go to Display Conditions. Here, we can either uh, include the entire site, you can exclude certain pages. Uh, so let's just go to include singular, and you can do post or page. And let's type in web development. And there we go. And then you do save. I'm not going to do save because I already have it applied, but you do save and it would apply it there. So I'm going to close out of this. Let me trash it. <laughs> um, and as you can see, there is already an example to show you another one where I have myself here listed. And so I can show you an example um, where I have AJ Tatum, I have a headline my description, email, um, and then I have the locality, region is the two character state, posted code, country, gender, job title, and then you have save as, or same as, which basically would link to your social media profiles. And then for display conditions, in this case, I have it so that it includes a particular page, so it includes just my about page, uh, it would be on all the posts, and then it would also include, it would be on the archives where the author is myself. So that's how you can apply schemas uh, through schema templates. The next option that you have is uh, applying it in individual posts or pages. So I'll show you the first example uh, through posts of where you can apply something using the Gutenberg editor. 
So just go here and click the plus sign. Let's search for rank math. And we can see that we have FAQ, local business, how to. So let's do FAQ. And here you can put in a question. Um, you know, simple question. And then you put in the answer. And you continue adding more onto there. Uh, and you'd be able to go from there. So I'm just going to save the draft for now. Now, personally, I'm a big fan of Elementor, and Ring Math integrates really nicely with Elementor. So I'm going to show you an existing example that I have on my web development page. So I go to Pages, All Pages, and then I'm going to just go down to Web Development and Edit with Elementor. scroll down here then we have basically the accordion widget so it's the standard research for widget it's going to be looks like it's not going to work for me right now oh sorry <laughs> accordion so you would simply just drag the accordion over. Since we already have it here, we're going to just click on that. And here you can see I have the questions with the answers in there. And then I have add FAQ schema markup, and it's added by the Rank Math SEO plugin. And I have that toggled on. So I'll show you what that looks like. And how it renders. So I'm back out of here. We're going to go to Google and search for the rich results test. And we have that right here. And I'm going to go back and get the URL for the web development page. Then you just paste in the URL. And test and it analyzes the page for you. And sometimes it can take a little bit, but let's see here. All right, great. So the page is eligible for rich results. And you can see, so we have some breadcrumbs. We have the FAQ um, in here. Um, local business it pulled up. And what we can actually do also is preview results. And so you can see we have web development, and this is how it would look like on a smartphone device and it has the FAQs that we entered in here and it also has the local business as well so that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and uh, look forward to reading the comments thank you